this is a match the following type of question. Here we have to match the diseases with the substance that is deficient in it. So now let's focus on the various substances they have mentioned. It includes zinc, niacin, cyanocobalamin and ascorbic acid of which zinc is a mineral and niacin is vitamin B3 and cyanocobalamin is B12 and ascorbic acid is vitamin C. So now let's see one by one. So first and foremost is zinc. Okay, the one important MCQ related to zinc is that it is an important constituent of insulin. Okay, so it is a very, very important point. Apart from that, zinc acts as a cofactor for various enzymes such as alkaline phosphatase, carbonic anhydrase, superoxide, dismutase, etc. And then zinc plays a very important role in wound healing and it has an antioxidant property. It has a role in development of the reproductive system and then it is a component seen in gluten. So, gluten it is nothing but a protein which is involved in taste sensation. Okay, so these are some of the important uh, roles of zinc of which you have to remember in specific, it is an important constituent in insulin. So, now getting to the deficiency part, it results in poor wound healing and altered taste sensation. And one another important condition that is acrodermatitis enteropathica, it is characterized by defective absorption of zinc. Okay, it is an inherited metabolic disorder of defective zinc absorption. So, it results in acrodermatitis, which itself means there is inflammation of the fingers etc and associated with hypogonadism because the reproductive system or reproductive activity is affected and then the patient will also have alopecia, diarrhea, loss of appetite etc. This is about zinc and the next substance is niacin. It is synthesized from tryptophan and the deficiency of which result in a condition known as pellagra. So, it is manifested in the form of three Ds namely diarrhea, dementia and dermatitis. So, here this is an important MCQ, the three Ds of Pellagra, diarrhea, dementia and dermatitis. Okay, the next substance is cyanocobalamin which is vitamin B12. The deficiency results in two different types of anemia namely pernicious anemia due to deficiency of intrinsic factor which is necessary for the absorption of B12 from the intestine. And next is megaloblastic anemia where there is deficiency of folic acid and B12. And most important manifestation is the subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord and also there is uh, demyelination of the neurons in the cerebral cortex. Okay, So, you have to remember this is specific for vitamin B12 deficiency. And then occurs folate trap which means that in case of cyanocobalamin deficiency, the methyl tetrahydrofolate fails to get converted into free form of tetrahydrofolate because of which it is getting trapped in the methyl form. So, that is known as folate trap and then methyl malonic aciduria. If you see methyl malonic aciduria, it is because of the conversion of methyl melanyl CoA to succinyl CoA which does not occur in case of B12 deficiency. Therefore, the methyl melanyl CoA accumulates and get excreted in the urine. The last point is increased homocysteine levels or homocysteine urea will be seen in patients with B12 deficiency because it is essential for converting homocysteine into methionine. Okay, so this requires vitamin B12. So, if this is deficient, the homocysteine accumulates in the blood and also gets excreted in the urine. Okay, so these are some of the important manifestations in the deficiency of zinc, niacin as well as vitamin B12. And next is vitamin C. So, before getting on with that, the important roles to focus, vitamin C is an antioxidant. The next point, it is a reducing agent and then it plays a role in collagen synthesis and the collagen structure. Okay, in what way does it have a role in collagen? It is required for hydroxylation of the prolin as well as the lysine residues. 
okay hydroxylation of proline and lysine so this hydroxylated product that is hydroxy proline and hydroxy lysine are essential for the cross linking of the collagen fibers which adds to the strength of the fiber okay so in case of vitamin deficiency it result in a condition known as scurvy and the patient will also have anemia it is because vitamin c is essential for converting the ferric form of iron into ferrous form and favors absorption of iron therefore in its deficiency anemia results apart from that there is internal hemorrhage swollen gums so all these are attributed to the abnormal collagen that is formed and then comes scorbutic bone because vitamin c is essential for the osteoid formation and then swollen joint there is chances of hemorrhage into joint cavities because of the weak bones there are chances for multiple fractures and therefore hemorrhages into the joint spaces and then poor wound healing in case of the deficiency okay so these are the deficiency and you can also see all the points are manifestations of scurvy okay so therefore vitamin c deficiency is given the term scurvy okay so now getting back to the question we'll be able to match now look into the first column so here first say is pellagra so pellagra is because of niacin deficiency which is b and then second is acrodermatitis enteropathica which is a that is zinc deficiency and pernicious anemia the third is because of deficiency of cyanocobalamin which is c and then comes scurvy it is due to vitamin c deficiency which is nothing but the ascorbic acid d therefore this is the combination so among the given four options the first option says the similar combination okay one with b two with a three with c and four with d so therefore we have to match the right uh, diseases with their deficiency so here option one is the right match